Howdy. So, before we get into this reading, can you do me a favor and let me know in the comments below how you are just doing, right? I really do want to know. I like to check in with my peeps. So, uh, let's just get into this reading, y'all. Hey, girl. My beautiful Virgo, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today we are going to be doing your weekly tarot reading for you, Virgo. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this reading today, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, Virgo, because that is how I keep up with you, is through the comments, right? As well, if you enjoy this reading or you just enjoy my vibe, Virgo, I'd really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot, Virgo, and I always am just super appreciative of it, but appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support my tarot reading channel that way. Uh, and before we get into your weekly reading for you today, Virgo, I just want to remind you that when it comes to my weekly readings, do you use your intuition because put it in perspective, Virgo, just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than anybody, so you uh, take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. Uh, when it comes to my weekly readings, they're just here to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider, Virgo, but never making the decision of decision in your life because it's your life to live, not mine, not these tarot cards, honey. So yeah, with all that being said, Virgo, let's just get into your weekly reading. Um, I pulled some cards for you already, Virgo, just so I could get a general idea of what is going on for you. Um, and so I pulled the King of Fire for you. This card says, focus, 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 communicate with a, honey, <laughs> communicate with uh, a vision and be a leader, advice from someone creative. Y'all like how I called the, gave this card some attitude for slipping. <laughs> uh, you also, uh, Virgo, had the Archangel uh, Michael step forward for y'all. Uh, so if you are open to working with Archangels, then I suggest for you guys to work with Archangel Michael this week. This would be a good week for you, Virgo, to do that. Uh, but you guys got the wheel card with him. And I like to use numerology for this deck as well. And so write down the number one for numerology, Virgo, so you can look that up later to see how it correlates with your reading. Uh, and this card says, a time of positive change, a situation suddenly moving forward, and fortune is on your side. Beautiful card, right? And then for your third card, we have the Knight of Water. We have this card to say falling in love or wedding proposal, the need to balance emotions, and then invitation to a social event. Now, I'm going to focus in on this last part here, actually, for this card, for how this message I feel like is coming forward to you guys, uh, Virgo. But one thing I just want to point out, just for clarity's sake, um... The King of Fire would be normally the King of Wands, a normal tarot, Virgo, as well as the Knight of Water being the normally the Knight of Cups, a normal tarot, because cups are water, uh, wands is fire, and then swords are air for the elements. So just so for anyone that's trying to like remember these cards to look up later, that way it clears up any confusion. Um, but whenever I see the wheel card coming forward, Virgo, I always like to see this card as like the gear starting to turn. Like I, I always like to see this as like a nice progressional card. Uh, this is a card I like to see um, for people because it's like, uh, usually it's like letting you know that things are about to be happening or like in behind the scenes like the like the gears are turning so like if you're not seeing anything right now you're about to see something really soon come into fruition um now keep in mind right i'm always going to be speaking in an optimistic way because i'm just that's just my personality i'm an optimistic person virgo you're probably you staying hang around long enough and you'll realize this but um, I just want to say that the wheel could uh, represent, you know, like something coming up into uh, the forefront revealing itself to you that could be kind of stressful to deal with, right? But I am going to be honest here, uh, Virgo, just out of an intuitive message, so take this with a grain of salt, take this as you will, um, I can't help but feel like someone is going to be coming forward to you, if not this week, pretty soon. Uh, Virgo, bringing forward some type of opportunity or, uh, to you or asking your advice on something. Does this make sense? So it's almost just being like, oh, um, bringing something. It would be like me bringing forward um, some document to you, Virgo, and be like, what do you think about this? And me 
um, asking your opinion on it essentially, or in a different way, just because like with the water card, this could be talking about emotions, like, you know, someone coming forward with communication with uh, some type of feeling, or it could be coming in in terms of for cups as well, or water, it could be coming in as an opportunity of sorts or like a job of sorts. Um, regardless, it's more so just, I always like to see this as like the opening, like the creation of a new um, energetic channel, like something potentially uh, coming in that you could be creating. And especially with the King of Fire, this is something where it's going to be in your expertise, expertise, something where like people are going to be looking to you um, to see how to handle this situation. And it's kind of like, a, especially with the wheel card, it's almost just like you're, something's coming forward to like put you up on a pedestal of sorts or where it's just like, kind of like, a, I keep on hearing the message of like, are you going to be up for the task? There I go. So maybe something really uh, beautiful happens, but it comes with a lot more responsibility, right? Because the King of Fire does exude that sense of responsibility and asking for you to um, communicate with the vision, right? And it is, put, does put a lot of accountability on you. So the clarifying cards that I have for this as well, uh, we have the five of air. Now this card says an unwise choice. Learn what you can from this situation and to review everyone's motives. There we go. This card, it, the next card we have rather is the four of earth. This card says being too frivolous or too cautious uh, with money, good business decisions and giving to those less fortunate. And then we have the 10 of fire. Uh, which says too much work, except, why am I speaking weird? Except help from other people. Uh, life is out of balance and stress related health concerns. So ooh, this is definitely like a heavier undertone to these messages, which is kind of what I was preferencing before, wasn't it? Of what I was saying the wheel could represent. Um, so I am going to be honest here, Virgo. It is seemingly like for some of you guys what's being presented to you is like being like like being like oh virgo what do you think about this how should we handle this situation going forward it's almost just like let's just say for a dramatic sense um some type of like event happened like serious life event happened virgo and now like everyone like you're going to be you're being called to be like the responsible one or like everyone's just going to you um to be like that stable uh, force where it's almost as if like yeah because here's the thing this is painting out to be a situation of where uh, ten of uh, fire usually in normal uh, again in normal tarot it's ten of wands and ten of wands the picture uh, the imagery of the card is very much so heavy on where it's like someone's being weighed down um, and trying to carry just a large load of ten wands. And so it's, I do kind of see the sense of where it's like whatever is presented to you, it's like you're having to like pick up the pieces of like someone's mistakes, right? And then with the four of earth, and this could be your own as well. It could very well be your own. You would know, <laughs> Virgo. Um, and then with the four of earth, this is like reallocating your energies of some sort in some way. So it's just like some type of, I mean, because yeah, the five of air says, quite literally says on the card, an unwise choice, right, Virgo? So it's just like, maybe like, you know, made some bad investments, maybe, you know, and I always like to say the earth or an earth energy, I don't think I ever said earth is pentacles, pentacles is earth energy, yeah. Uh, that's all the four elements there. <laughs> um, but as I was saying before, I always like to view the pentacle energy as like, uh, as like your actual just energy, where it's just like, whether it's like you're investing in time, investing in energy, investing in actual money, right? It's just all in the same vein to me. And so it's almost like maybe you guys made like a bad stock choice where you were making, deciding to invest in, this one job situation, putting all your ducks in one basket, essentially, right? And now you're kind of realizing that this is something that you can't really manage anymore, right? Or something that you can't really, really um, 
do on your own anymore is the message that I'm getting randomly. So Virgo, something I just want to say is just like, and even in the Ten of Fire itself is saying, like, don't be afraid of asking for help. I know, especially with the, like, I keep on getting, like, all, a lot of these cards, a lot of these messages here is a calling of, like, more responsibility on you, Virgo, honestly. So don't, I just want to say, like, don't be afraid in trying to um, see other people's insights and get advice from other people. Um, during this ta uh, this week as well, Virgo. Something I just want to say is like, don't feel like you have to take this on alone. Yeah, Six of Pentacles came out for you. There's definitely someone here, someone else that could like you could uh, that would help take some of this burden uh, that you're going to be going through. Ten of Fire uh, um, this week. Someone could be assisting you in some way, whether it's just emotional support or whether it's through actual education. Now, Six of uh, Swords also did come out for you. So, for some of you guys, this could be just like hearing some news about like something, some disappointing news, and then you're kind of like finding out it's just like, oh, I actually have to really like leave this situation. And with how, this dynamic of these cards, you're realizing that you kind of have to leave, leave this situation now. Um, funnily enough, King of Fire came out, or King of, yeah, King of Wands came out again for you. Oh, that is Ten of Wands right here too. <laughs> Hello, these cards that came out. Um, I was about to just reference with this Devil card because the Devil card and the Six of Swords came out together. Funny how these cards, like these cards are just falling out in such a way. Um, but yeah, going back to, as I was saying, uh, for some of you guys, maybe you heard some news and you kind of have to take action pretty quickly. You're just like, oh, like I actually have to leave, like and pack my bags like today. Like I should have been gone yesterday sort of thing with this news that's presented to you. And you're just like, oh, like I thought I could put, I could, thought I could settle here and like put my energy, my four pentacles, right? Into this situation, as I was saying before, right? But now you're having to move. Um, and then King of Fire, or yeah, King of Wands, or technically King of Fire, King of Wands and Ten of Wands comes in for you, both of these cards again. So really does talk about this sense of responsibility, really does hone in on some level of stress, um, Virgo, which it's kind of a bummer, right? I don't like seeing that, um, seeing my peeps going through a stressful time, but Y'all know me, I like to just be honest with my readings. It serves and no one any benefit in me just blowing a bunch of smoke up. Um, Y'all's, you know what, right? Um, I always like to see this as like, if you if you hear about this stuff now, you can come into, go into the situation better prepared. So what I would just be saying this week, Virgo, especially with that situation with that Six of Swords and how it came out so aggressively for you guys, um, don't, uh try to like have something stay for you have something just stick especially with this king of wands that you are going to be called to the plate um definitely a lot of responsibility but here's the thing as like any good like person or any good king i guess right all i can think of is like game of thrones right if you watch game of thrones you'll know virgo but in like game of thrones like there's always somebody that like like khaleesi referred to honey she always had like her right hand man right i'm not gonna say anything really too much because i don't want to give anything away even though it's been years honey but it's in that vein right don't be afraid of asking for some advice don't be afraid of asking for help right even just hearing other people's perspective that is not of from people who are not involved in your situation or in your life would be really helpful i feel like this week because um a lot of eyes are probably going to be on you or just on this very sense of just like a lot is just weighing on your shoulders this week Virgo. which you can handle it absolutely, honey. That's not why I'm, like, stressed out for you guys. Like, that's not a question, honey. Like, I'm not, like... It's like, honey, like, this is just going to be building some character for you, darling. Like, you'll be fine. Um, I just, like, I'm just like, uh, it's a heavy reading just because it's, like... I just want everyone to be going through some lightness, right? I want everyone to just be, like... I feel like if this is just a time where a lot some good could just... We could all just use some good happening in our lives right now right so with that said let's actually see 
what messages, what good things we can have, uh, what good things are in the works for for you, Virgo, um, this week. What message, or what good things are coming this week for you that are in the process of setting themselves up? Let's see what cards we get for that. Hmm. Mm, I guess we're taking both of those as well. All right, Virgo, let me get these cards set up and then I'll show you them. All right, so then we have a thick little packet here that came out. Um, so Virgo, we have the Sun card coming out for you, best card in the deck. We have the Knight of Cups following you. A lot of cards following you, by the way, Virgo. Uh, Page of Cups, Ace of Cups, or Ace of Pentacles, and then Three of Cups, and Four of Pentacles following you. So yeah, as I was saying, uh, Virgo, a lot of cards following you. Give me a moment as I set these up and figure out how this puzzle wants to be put together uh, for you in your life, uh, Virgo. But it does seem to be, really, with the Nine of Cups coming in again, I really just want to... I can't I wouldn't feel comfortable in this reading not mentioning that someone coming into your life uh Virgo or like someone being involved in your life I do just I mean even with the message of where it's just like don't be afraid of getting some advice from other people Virgo all the messages that I feel inclined to say for you this week is getting other people involved in your life this week um and just getting people like it just seems to like it's not every day I'm like stretching out my legs right for a moment, Virgo, don't mind me. I know I'm like completely almost out of frame now, but um, yeah, like I just constantly get this message of involving other energies. For some reason, Spirit's really pushing uh, for you, Virgo, to have some other energy involved in your life. So you're gonna have to read in between the lines and being like, what's going on here? What do they have planned? Um, I really focus in on that message because of the Theory of Cups as well. Now, the Theory of Cups itself is generally just, I mean, it is a good card, right? Because it's uh, just a celebration card with close people. But this is also just, again, just referencing other energies involved in your situation. Um, so really get other people involved. Um, I don't know if there's like something because especially with the Four of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles here, this is really implying um, something that's new coming in. Again, I also just want to say like the cups um, could just represent like a new job coming in as well. But I really want to just hone in on the message of a person because I do feel like it's in, like whether it's a job coming in for you, I feel like it would be attached with the person setting that up for you. Virgo. But um, yeah, Four of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles is showing to me where just like in this situation, um, it's, oh, you got really positive cards, by the way, for this. Um, in this situation, you'll f this is where you'd want to invest your pentacles. This would be in the Ace of Pentacles is that blank check, right? And where it's just like you write down, the universe hands you a blank check and you write down how much you want that check for. Um, and so as also with the page of cups, this card, the meaning of it literally says like a new person coming into your life. So you have a bunch of cards, Virgo, that talk about a new person coming into your life. And I don't want this to come off in just like a romantic way. I know a lot of people are just used to receiving that type of message, um, <laughs> for tarot for it to be in like a romantical sense, but it doesn't have to be like at all, truly. Um, and then, yeah, you have the sun card. Virgo coming in lastly, where it's just like, like it's an extremely positive card. It was just like um, your plants, your fruit trees pl uh, are bearing fruit. Um, everything is just like working out like all according to plan and just is really just like a beautiful completion, right? A beautiful completion of journeys and just overall abundance. So really powerful 
uh, reading for you this week, Freo. I hope you did enjoy this reading this week. If you did, let me know in the comments below which cards resonated with you and how they resonated with you. Um, as well as uh, if you enjoy this reading, uh, I do weekly readings for all the zodiac signs, Virgo, not just your sign. So uh, if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not into tarot, send them their zodiac sign video, uh, Virgo, and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them. But, uh, yeah, Virgo, I love you so much. Also, be sure to remember to let me know how you're doing in the comments below, because I truly want to know how it is that y'all are doing. Um, and yeah, I'll connect with you guys pretty soon, Virgo. You got it this week. I know y'all's reading was a little bit heavy, honey, but I know for a fact that you guys got it in the bag easily. Don't stress out about it. I'm not really concerned about it for you guys. Um, really just though, take heed, uh, Virgo, to the advice of just allowing other people. And that's probably the best thing that you could do for yourself this week is just being as open as possible and be as, re be as receptive as possible uh, to connecting with other people this week because I feel like you can't go wrong with that, right? Especially with that sun card and that three cups that you had. Like, come on. You can't really ask for a better setup than that. So, um, yeah. I love you so much, Virgo. Bye.